What's happening YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So today we are on another video of the saloon. <clears throat> We're going to do M50 manifold swap today. I've got two M50 manifolds to choose from. Uh, I'll, I'll flip you around and uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So yeah, here's a choice. I've got two M50 manifolds. I've got some more silicon pipe because so I'm going to replace all the vacuum lines under here because they're always perished. They're old now. They'll be crap. So what you do, air box out, throttle body off. You've got, I think they're 11 mils down here. Fuel rail off. Injector loom off. And then there's a few bits underneath you've got to get to, but I will talk you through it as I do it. So I might put you on time lapse. I don't know. I've got the neighbour looking over at me, looking at me like I'm a proper weirdo because I'm filming my car. <laughs> Obviously, I need to get a new intake boot because this one's shot. You can get a 90 degree one. I'm going to see if I can just get a silicon 90 and then modify it to take the other pipe that goes into it. Uh, yeah, we, we'll see how it goes, but I'll put it on time-lapse and we'll get going. Right, we're off. So, not too bad, a little bit fiddly. I've left the fuel rail on, so I've probably made it harder work for myself. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. So, underneath we have a few differences. Uh, this is a stock 328 one. You've got a breather that goes in here, and then you've got a breather that goes in here on uh, M50. You've just got this bit here, I'll show you what that is. Some sort of, so it goes up to the inlet off the uh, intake elbow. So this clips into the M50 manifold. The other breather you've got is this. So some sort of breather goes from the uh, rocker cover through this and then down into the sump. So what you do is get rid of this. Uh, the pipe that comes out of the sump, find a suitable bolt, stick that in. And you've got that comes off there. You can just let it go to atmosphere or you can get a little catch can set up. Uh, for now, it's going to the atmosphere, but I will make up a little oil catch can for it. Uh, that's about it I think you've got your your vacuums that go up under the same so yeah it is time to start putting everything back together now I have this was the silicon pipe that run from the end of the fuel pressure rail up to the uh, goes up to here like I say I've got Got some new silicon pipes, so I'll be replacing that. Might as well do it while you're there. And I will update you when she's all back together. So another important thing to do is uh, grease up your injector rubbers. You don't want one of them not sealing properly when you're sticking it into the manifold. So obviously I've just given the manifold a quick clean off. Yeah, make sure you put a bit of grease around your injector seals before you put them in. Because you don't want them leaking on a hot engine. You'll be having a bad day. So yeah, a little tip for you. All right, so there it is, all installed. I didn't want to put this elbow back on. What I'm gonna do is delete this is a traction control, so you can take this off and then just get a 90 degree, come straight to the math. That math is short, so I need to get another math and then get the 90 degree elbow. I'll show you 
what that looks like on the touring because that's the route I've gone with this. So yeah, it just gets rid of all the traction control stuff. You just have a 90 degree straight into your mouth, straight into your airbox. So I'm gonna get the number off that so I can order the right piece for this one. What I have done, so when, if you're gonna do some research on doing the M50 manifold swap, people say you can't use the 328 fuel rail, you can. Um, it just takes a little bit of modifying. As you can see where it mounts to the manifold, these are not in the right place. There's also a bracket that goes there, which holds, I think that's the O2 sensor. Yeah, just cut that off. And then these are, are braced across here. You have to cut that off, cut that off, and then just make a couple of little brackets. So you 10 mil will go in there, have a little bracket that comes across here and just nut and bolt it either side. Really easy to do. I will show you uh, one that I've done already because I've done that on my turbo one. So I'll just climb in the garage and I'll show you. Right, so here we go. This is the one I made for the uh, turbo one. So you, you can see just a tiny little bracket steps it across either side. See that? She ain't going nowhere. And yeah, that's what you do with it. So you don't have to go out and buy another fuel rail, just modify the 3281 and uh, yeah, works perfectly. Right, just in case anyone is interested in doing that little delete of the traction control this is the boot and that is the part number 13.54-1703588 might help some people out there you go right so that's it m50 manifold completed it uh not too hard to do took about two three hours i suppose it's quite a fiddly job to do but none of it's really hard uh i'll make up them brackets in the week i'll bring home some metal from work and a drill proper piece piss to do uh i had to spin it around i had to take this off to get the m50 manifold back in i didn't have to take it off to get the other one out but obviously where that one's a bit bigger i had to take it off to get it back in again a few seven mil screws really easy decent mod supposed to add 15 20 horsepower whether it does or not i don't know i'll be getting that boot deleting the elbow thing make that a lot neater get myself a new math sensor and yeah that's it for that side of it for now might be getting a supercharger kit for this i'm just in talks with my mate uh he's he sells a lot of e36 and e46 parts uh www.protozoni i think it is he's on the e36 kings page call steve houston you want anything for an e36 give him a shout because he is a man to deal with so he's on about uh starting selling supercharger kits if he does i'm probably going to be going down that route give you about 300 horsepower so for the track car that'd be ideal uh, yeah, so that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Give us a like, give us a share, and I'll see you on the next one.